Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to make the geometry mappable. As we had learned in the previous video, to create the 3D mesh, first of all we will have to make the geometry mappable. So to understand this, I go to this open. In your project files, go to this file that is AHM1502. Select this file and click on open. In the type of geometry, click on this mappable and then select shaded geometry and now we can see the geometry is showing in this orange color it means that we have to make this geometry mappable to make it mappable we just have to trim this geometry into small small segments so to trim the geometry we go to the option of geometry and go to solid edit click on this solid edit and suppose I select trim with surface or plane and click on the second option with surface first of all it is asking us to select the solid so I select the solid and then we have to select a trimming surface click on the surface and suppose I want to trim the solid with respect to this vertical surface so I click on the surface and click on trim and now we can see this geometry has been trimmed with respect to this vertical surface click on return and now we can see the color of geometry has been changed and it is now a mappable geometry we can also further trim this geometry so once again I go to solid edit and select this time select this right solid click on this solid because it right now it is a complete solid and then trim with surface and surface I want to trim with is top surface click on this top surface and click on trim and now the solid is trimmed click on return so no orange color is highlighting it means this geometry is now mappable so now we can do the 3d mesh once again we will select some more geometry so I go to this open and suppose I select 1601 and click on this open from here go to mappable and select shaded geometry so in this geometry we can this is a little bit complicated geometry it is showing in this orange color it means we have to make it mappable so to make the geometry mappable I go to this geometry and click on solid edit and I go to trim with surface since most of the surfaces in this geometry are planar surfaces we can trim them with respect to surface so I select this complete solid and first of all suppose I trim this with this base surface so I select the surface and now we have to select the surface suppose I select this top surface select the top surface and click on trim and then click on return so we can see nothing more has been changed so once again I go to solid edit and once again I select the solid and this time we can trim this with ok we can trim this solid with the surface so I go to the surface suppose I this time I will select this vertical surface so with respect to the surface it will trim this feature so click on this trim so when I will select the solid we can see this part is now separate so click on reset and now we have to trim these two solids so I select the solid click on surface and select this vertical surface click on trim and now we can see the color of this rib has been changed it means this rib is mappable but the remaining solid is still not mappable so now let us focus on to this base we can see right now this base is not mappable so select this base and click on surface so I want to trim this base with respect to this surface select this vertical surface and click on trim and now we can see this part is mappable but still this part is not mappable so to make it mappable we have to trim it further so we can also trim this with respect to this geometry so select this base and then select surface we can select multiple surfaces at a single time so I select this surface and the second part of this surface click on trim and now we can see this surface is trimmed now we can see these two solids are mappable but still this left part is still not mappable so we have to further trim it so we can trim this part with respect to this surface so go to select the solid 
and select all these solids select this solid and this solid and then trim this with respect to this vertical surface then select the surface and select this vertical surface note this select this surface okay and then click on trim so now this part is trimmed and now we have to trim it further so this time i will trim this with respect to nodes so select the solid and select the nodes suppose this is the first node second node and third node and we have to select a base node suppose i select base node here and click on trim okay it is showing that n1 n2 n3 are collinear so i select this first node second node and this is third node in the bottom and this is the base node click on trim and now we can see this solid is now mappable but still there is a little part that is not mappable so we have to trim it further so select this solid and the nodes i select first node second node third node is this node okay and then we need a base node so we can select a base node like this is the base node click on trim and now we can see this base part is mappable but still there is some part that is non mappable so now we have to trim this solid so select this solid okay we can trim this with respect to lines so go to trim with lines and select this solid and go to lines select this line and the second line click on trim and now we can see this solid is also mappable so now only portion remaining is this portion we also have to make it mappable so to make it mappable what we can do is also we can trim it with respect to the horizontal surface so i go to return and then go to solid edit trim with surface select the solid select the solid select the surface select this top surface click on trim and now we can see the complete solid is now mappable so in this way we can create the geometry mappable